All righty. Hello, everybody. It has been a couple of days, and I have a couple things to share before I start. I'm taking a little bit of a break from tanks, just to give it like a little bit of context. See, people are asking, why is the game taking forever to load? But, oh my gosh, is that the whole thing? Oh my goodness, that is. There we go. So, in the past 30 days, I've played 918 matches. The thing is, if you look at the top right, last battle, nine days and four hours ago. So, this is just to give you an idea. I've put a lot of time into the game. Uh, as you can see, it's still 918, and my last match was nine days ago. So, I'm, <laughs> I, I'm on a much-needed break. And yes, I've heard about the tech tree changes in Cold War. They've needed to happen for quite some time. Alrighty, so, a little bit of a change-up. Compared to normal, you know, I, I usually don't fire full premium loadouts or uh, go super crazy with ammunition costs or anything of that matter. Usually I have a pretty well-balanced loadout, but in, in this match that I'm going to be showing off today, yes, this is in fact a full premium loadout. Some people are talking about the guns on this between the 120 and the 130 uh, for which one is the most competitive. Honestly, if you play this tank, leave it down in the comment section on which one you prefer and... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just go with that. <laughs> Personally, I, I like both of them. I like the 8-second reload on the um, 120, and then, what is it, a 12-second reload on the 130, which isn't bad for the, the big burst potential that you can get with the 560 alpha, but the ammunition capacity. I mean, between both rounds, you're going to have more damage potential with the 120 than the 130, but the 130 is going to have way more effective trades for you know having those peak shots and pulling up and everything else. And... Uh, a couple of things that I do want to go over is just, I am slowly not impressed with the game. <laughs> like, I, I mean, I, I enjoy World of Tanks, but it drives me up a wall whenever I look at what's available inside the store. And it, what is this, Tier 5? Yeah, Tier 5, and then the Tier 7, AVRE, which Clone Guy used my account to uh, uh, do a review in this tank, and... Personally, I just, I haven't had time to really care to do a review on it because it, it's a tier 7 derp. Honestly, it's where it belongs in tier 7, where they should be experimenting. Not in tier 10, not in tier 9, uh, may, maybe tier 8. I guess it could depend on in tier 8 on, you know, derping out. And T44100, that's actually a, I, you guys don't have this, I actually recommend you get it. Didn't they just give away the T42? Like, it, it was a free download last month and now it's tank of the month this month like well, why are they trying to promote the t42 so much this is like the third time that they're like hey we're giving this out and just 50 dollars for a tier 7 people are going to be miserable inside that uh oh wow it, does this come with the tank it comes it comes with the tank okay so tank of the month is the t42 for what the heck what is this hold on aim and attack Buy bundle. What? So, hold on. Tank of the month is the T-42. Aim and attack. Comes with the T-40. Uh, is anyone else confused about this? And a little bit of a replay from uh, turn up 94 here. Uh, assuming turn up. Uh, this actually confused... Crap me, just to cone also like this. Uh, I do believe that Slap of Fish has also seen it. We posted it over on the official Discord for World of Tanks, but uh, I'm just going to let this play out. Um, I might turn down the game audio. I don't know how loud it's going to be. 11,000 gold to pick this up. Okay. Trade in. So he's going to be trading in. Uh, look at his gold currently 8,226. He's going to buy the tank, which is going to cost him. Let's go back a tad bit. Just going to let it play out. 8255 It's going to cost him 2400 to buy the tank. Buys the tank. Oh, suddenly his gold is 2130 So it took 6125 gold to be able to do that. So a couple of glitches in-game right now that need to be fixed. Um, the trade-in system, I've never tested it because, I mean, currently if we go to my garage and clear all filters... 510 vehicles, 188 tier 8 premiums, 56 tier 9s, 76 tier 10s. 
and then it's just like I don't really care to do the trade-in. Uh, but yeah, a couple of glitches that have been brought to my attention. That's one of them. There's another one that I'm I'm not really I didn't, uh, eh eh eh. It, there's the garbage. I'll toss it in it. Anyways, let's go ahead and dive into this replay. It's gonna be a three-man platoon, and the 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 match itself is a decent match, but it's not the most impressive. Um, it's not like oh no, that's absolute god tier. It's actually what was done as a platoon. So we're on Hidden Village, and I'm gonna be freaking out my thumbsticks like I always do. I I tried to stop doing that within the first couple seconds. I I I love to fiddle with my sticks. All right, um. But enough about me talking about fiddling with my sticks. I, I want to talk about the, the AMX um, M4, the, the rainy M4. Um, this was a tier 9 that was brought into the game uh, about a year a year ago. Is that right? About a year ago? And I, I, I think it's a great tank. But I'm at the point where it, buying tanks in game, it, there's no value to it. Like buying a tier 9 premium like, if you guys go out and you buy a Tier 9 Premium, how many matches are you actually putting inside this Tier 9 Premium? Uh, let alone in comp, how many Tier 9s are actually used in comp? Or how many Tier 9s do you buy and you put, like, 100 matches? Okay, in my eyes, 100 matches, that's worth that's worth the value of the tank in one time you played it. Uh, but is is there a value there? You, know, you buy a tank, you put 20 matches inside of it, and then you never touch it again. For me, the Concept 1B's like that. The AE Phase 1's like that. There, there's no value to these Tier 9's or even these Tier 10's that are being brought into the game. And it saddens me to see that because there's potential. But rather than taking this you know, opportunity to bring in a different uh, currency system for these premium Tier 9's, like for instance how PC does it, bonds, how you can buy special tanks out of the store with bond tanks and do challenges. Like, for instance, we have access, by the way, double shot. You gotta love these double hits with these big, fat guns running in the platoon. Um, but going back to what I was talking about, it, you buy a tier 9, you buy a tier 10, and I mean, you spent money, you spent gold, okay? You spent your hard-earned time to be able to get these tanks and get all this equipment and everything else inside game. And Silver and gold, we have a standard currency in game, which is silver that you earn every single match that you play. And if you're playing enough matches, you know, 900 matches, you times it by 100,000. Uh, that's a lot of silver. Uh, not for a lot of time in this game. Did that in all premiums, it's a lot of freaking money, okay? Um, but back to the premiums. There's no value to play these tanks. They don't have a silver modifier. It's a tank that you can get in a free-to-play... A free-to-play player would be better off getting, like, the E75, the M103, and he would be just as competitive as these tanks, if not more, because he has such a larger variety in what he's capable of doing. E75 has two competitive guns. You have the 105, I mean, you have to look for premiums at the 105, uh, but that's pretty much about it. And then the M103, uh, same thing about, like, the 50 or, like, a couple of the others. I mean, don't get me wrong, these tier 9s, they have some special attributes, like, for instance, this thing's got a 560 alpha gun, which on PC it doesn't, which confuses the crap why we don't have the, why we have the 560 alpha AFK for Jetto, just easy, um, and it's still 520. Now, in this, uh, tank, I'm running a, uh, concealment net. Some people, like, why do you have a concealment net on a heavy? Well, early game, we made the hard right pull and never got spotted. Uh, some maps running a concealment net on heavy tanks uh, is actually kind of viable. Um, I do have a couple replays inside the 277, which is the best concealed tank in the game for heavies at tier 10, because it gets down to like uh, 365, 363. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I run a camo crew inside my um, 277, because it's just a heavy ghost. That's what that tank is. Now, you see, like, grinding out a tier 10 ground out that tier 10. You didn't have to spend money to ground it out. You had to spend your time to be able to do that. And then you're going in, and you have a tank that you're enjoying. And then all these tier 10 premiums come out, and it's just like... It, 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 I, I, I don't know how to say it other than a cash grab, guys. I don't know how to say it. They're coming in, and you're spending your money. 
know, or you're spending your time. I mean, if you spend your time and you spend 20 bucks and then you have to put the time in too, I mean, that's completely fine. But whenever it comes down to like spending a hundred dollars to buy a really ridiculous tier 10 or to just pick up something that you missed out on, uh, it kind of irritates me. And uh, the last thing that they did was they brought back the Turan. They brought back the Aviary. Two of the most hated tanks in the game currently, they brought back in purchase. Like, in my eyes, those tanks could be thrown in a dumpster fire and no one would care. People would be happy that they're gone. Okay? At least I would be happy that they're gone. I don't play my Turan because, to me, it's ridiculous. It's way too strong. And I avoid playing it. Like, to me, I enjoy playing tanks that are lackluster, uh, per se. I, I enjoy playing tanks that don't stand out in the crowd, that they're just, they're, they're the underdogs. You know, I love to play underdog tanks as much as I can. I also love to play really freaking aggressive for whatever reason. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen anyone else with this, this aggressive. I am this aggressive. Center. I love to brawl. I love to play close quarters. And I have a problem with it now because it's turned into, I enjoy brawling. I enjoy close quarters combat. But now all these derp guns are in the game. All these high alpha guns are in the game. I don't get mad whenever I get Strum Tiger. If anything, I got killed by a meme. All right. The Strum Tiger killing me is amazing. And I will never complain about being shot by that. I, I, I think it's an amazing tank. Now, whenever I get shot by an AVRE, a, a tank that I can never pin frontally reliable, unless I somehow magically find that sweet spot on the gun mantle, uh, yeah, that kind of drags it out for me. I don't do a problem. Hey, look, he's not even upgraded. But he's, he's happy he got the kill. Actually, was that the... The AMXs confuse me all the time. I, I play them. Yeah, M451, that is the tier 9. It was not upgraded, so you got the experience of it killing me. He's extremely happy about that. I'm going to pause it right here. So, Unknown Slayer, um, he was talking about wanting to use a small gun on this tank, and I told him, run the big. Run the big with me. I'll show you how to play with the big. And then Deathstroke was playing with us. And if you take our combined total... Of 16,500 rounded off. And then you look at what was on the enemy team. We essentially mowed over a very large majority of a crucial contribution and a master badge. Nice. Um, we essentially ran over half of the match in, in tier 10. Because, I mean, we're talking about uh, type 5, decent amount of hit points. That's, I believe, 2,800 hit points. Yag Tiger, Equalizer, uh, Type 58. Between the three of us, we took down equivalent to five mouses. Six mouses. Sorry, my brain is fried today. It snowed a lot, and I've been... Um, my hands are essentially raw for how much shuffling I've been doing. And uh, you all know how it goes. It's always fun. But this is just a little bit of an example of, like, I... I like these tanks, I like the tier 9 premiums, but I don't have a reason to continue playing these tanks, because there isn't one to play the, the premium 9s, the, the premium 10s. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, playing the 279E, you're just playing something that's absolutely redonkulous if you play it correctly. Or even the 780, or, like, whatever they come back in the store, are they worth a pickup? You know, and the guys rely on creators like me to put out the content, letting you know if they are worth the pickup. However, I'm the creator that's been putting in a lot of freaking time, but I haven't been doing anything to be uploading content because I, I'll tell you right now, I have, you know, I'll just do this. I have all these replays that I haven't used. None of these have been used. Everything from here on. And not to mention, actually, okay, I actually did my garbage bin. That, that, that thing's emptied out. But th this is everything that I currently have access to. I have a lot of replays that I can go over, but the thing is, I just don't have the energy or the time to want to do them. And there's a lot of them here. I mean, for crying out loud, uh, we, we got the, the replay. Like, each one of these that say replays, these are actually all usable right here. Like, each and every single one of these is actually me using a completely separate system. And, oh, Jesus, I minimized the crap out of that one. It's so tiny. Look at it. It's adorable. 
but these are like matches that I'd be able to, this is the VR match, so I can actually toss this one, but that's just an example. And I, I, I just, I don't know. I don't know why it is that I, I don't have the energy whenever I get home to sit down for 20 minutes and simply just talk into a microphone and tell you guys how I'm feeling, how everything's going. And, you know, like go over a match. Like, I mean, tomorrow I have a Kron Von match, two matches actually that I want to show off. So I guess I'll be able to show off the Kron Von matches. But I just wanted to talk today and tell you guys that I, I don't know what it is. I'm not burnt out. I've, I've, crap, I've put a lot of freaking matches in in the past 30 days. There, there's been a lot of matches. And I mean, I need to slow the crap down because there's 51 of these. And on one of these days, uh, it's not there. Um, my first week back, uh, there was a day that I actually put in 114 matches. Don't ask me how. I played from like 6 in the morning to 3 in the morning. I was up for a long time. And that one, like after that, that was actually during Christmas break. Yeah, it was during Christmas break. I was I was bored. I was like, screw it, I'm going to play tanks. I'm going to stream. That, that's how it's going to go. I'm going to be happy about it. Anyways, guys, um, any anyone have an idea of what, I, what I'm feeling? I'm not feeling giddy. I'm right? not laughing my butt off. But I'm I'm just stuck a little bit stuck i i look at this game and it's got so much potential yet these nines these tens everything else it's like it, once you got a lot of things in game there's nothing left to earn i mean don't get me wrong they just added in the brand new russian double barrel line that cuts off of the kv or ever that may be some somewhere so okay there it is and then it splits off in the here for 761,000. I'm probably going to be grinding this and slaps me with crap in this. I'll just buy that. Doesn't mean I'm going to be playing it right away. I mean, but I heard how horrendous the first gun in this is. What is it? 100 millimeter? 85? Is it 85? Oh, God. Ugh. 180 damage. Yeah. And then, oh, <laughs> that's a great example. 180 times 2 is 360 damage. What's the reload on this? Seven seconds. All right, so suddenly this falls into the alpha category of 360, and it's got the worst reload in the game. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you see, like the E75CS or the T54E2, T54E2 doesn't need a buff, is what they're saying, because it's using the... Um, they, everyone uses the three-shot autoloader inside that. If you're not using the three-shot autoloader for 1,080 uh, damage, it, you know, 27-second reload... 250, 250, 255? It's 250 plus for penetration on the premium mode. 255. And then, boom, you just you drop a thousand damage into something, then you back off and you repeat the process three times, four times, and suddenly you got the three mark requirement on that tank. Thing is, if you run the single shot on that tank, you don't feel like you're making that big of an effect because you got a 9.7 second reload. And the E75 TS falls in the same boat. The 360 alpha category in this game is just horrible. And what really sucks is this is a tank that I really want to three mark. This is a tank that I put Team Tigers on it, okay? Uh, emblems and inscriptions that I had to buy with real money, and that's also a, like a limited time uh, emblem too. Like this is a customized with limited time event stuff. And I don't like to play it. But I like to play it. I got like 200 matches inside this thing. I think I'm, I'm, I'm like top 15 in the world in this tank for global. And I don't like it because I played it on PC. It's got a 13.5 second base reload, 11.65 with the gun rammer equipped. But you look at that and then you look at like the Kree Vets 1. That's got a 12.3 second reload for 390 alpha. And suddenly the E75 TS doesn't feel like it can hold a candle to anything. Because you have a longer reload than 390 alpha guns with 270 heat pin. And I find heat to be superior to APCR. And the reason why is because you can pin angles that APCR can't pin because of auto ricochet. Um, anyways, guys, I didn't mean to drag this out so long. Um, have a great day, afternoon, night, whatever time you're catching this. Uh, I don't know what's coming over me, but I do know this. I have hit the point where... I don't know what I'm doing.
I'm just stuck. I might need pointers. Anyways, till next time. See you in the next video.